Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding count salary categories and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, some of you also ask regarding SQL schema. So this is how it looks like. I will just copy paste this in the description as well if you want to get a better look. Okay, let's jump right in. The question says, we are given a table called accounts with two different columns, account ID and income, account ID being the primary key for this table. Each row contains information about the monthly income for one bank account. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the number of bank accounts of each salary category. The salary categories are low salary. If the salaries are less than strictly less than 20,000 average salary, if it is between 20,000 and 50,000 inclusive and high salary if it is strictly greater than 50,000. The result table must contain all three categories. If there are no accounts in a category, then report zero. The order of the result does not matter. So let's go through this example, right? So here you have different four uh, accounts, right? And these are their income. So if you look at it, how many accounts are less than 20,000? One, right? How many are between 20,000 and 50,000? None, right? So, and how many are more than 50,000? three right so that should be in the output so from this you can go two routes right but the first thing that you should do is if this line was not written right if right result must contain all three categories then it would have been very very easy question why because all you had to do is from accounts just use the case when statements get the category like low medium or high and then group by and count the account IDs, right? So you can do that. But since it says that you need to have all the categories, even though there are no accounts in it, right? So going that direct route won't work in that case. So now what you can do is you can do th two things. The first is you can create a table, right? Which has all the three values, right? Low salary, average salary, high salary. Then as before, you can, you know, use the accounts table and try to see, okay, which all, you know, accounts are low salary, medium salary, high salary. Then you can join these two tables based on the column that you created, right? And then count the number of account IDs, right? So that is one way, which is, I think will take more lines of code. So there is another way to do this, right? In this, in the initial videos, right? If you go to the playlist of lead code SQL, Initially, there was a way which I talked about where you can use basically case when and some function to basically perform counts, right? So here we didn't need to count information, right? But instead of directly using count, you can use case when statements and some, right? So what we can do is from this table, right? So from this table called accounts, right? Let's just focus on on low salary for now, right? Because mid average and high salary is exactly the same replica of this, right? So from this accounts, if I write, right? So if I write case when, right? Case when your income is less than 20,000, then you return one, else you return zero. And since you started a case when statement, you write end, right? So, and then, what you do is you sum it up, right? So how is this going to act as a counter, right? So if you look at right so here, so it will see, okay, is this less than 20,000? No. So it will assign value zero. Is this less than 20,000? Yes. So assign value one. No, no. So zero, zero. So if you add zero plus one plus zero plus zero, it is coming out to be one, right? And at how many accounts have less than 20,000? One, right? So you see how this is acting as a counter here. So in the output, the counter should be named as accounts count, right? So if I just go ahead and alias this as accounts count, right? And in the, in the column called category, right? So we need to append this low salary in this, right? So before this column, we need to create another column which has the value low salary, right? So what we can do is just put a comma and then write return low salary right as category right let me run this let's see what we are getting right if you look at it right so we have category low salary and accounts one right 
Similarly, if you do the same for average salary and high salary and union all these results, right? So basically we are going to get the output, right? So what we need to do is just write union and copy paste this twice, right? Or, you know, just copy paste this entire thing, right? Copy paste and then again, copy paste, remove the last union, right? And all we need to do is change certain things. So salary is low. Now salary is average. So average salary and the condition is it should be between and between always includes the first and last values, right? So you write between 20,000 and 50,000. It will include both of these values as well. And you also need to do this for high salary. So we write high salary, right? And uh, it should be strictly greater than 50,000, right? So now just let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So yeah, this is accepted. If you look at the output, right, it is exactly same as the expected output and we don't need to order this by anything, right? So we can go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again. Very simple question, right? It's not that difficult. All you need to do is, you know, since you need to make sure that all the categories must be in your output, that is why going directly using the accounts table is not an option. What you can do is either you can make a table, right? And then try to get these categories, join them and, you know, count the account ID or in a better way, you, what you can do is you can you employ the combination of sum and case when statements to basically act as a counter, right? And just union the thing thrice, right? So yeah, this is how I do it. Let me know how the solution will look like in the first case that I described, right? Or is there any other way to do this more efficiently? Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.